A mentally challenged Australian man. That's what you sounded like right there. There Try you go. No. <laughs> it's like Mickey Mouse if, if he was <laughs> drunk and right off the boat from Australia. That's what that was. <laughs> Nick, can, can you make the noise again? Give us a taste. There you go. There you go. There it is. <laughs> I'm, pop, pop. This, that's going in the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ted too. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> cut the shit. Hello. Hi everybody. <laughs> yes. Hi everybody. My name is Eric. I'm Nick. Uh, we are the uh, the heads of the Goon Squad uh, reviews team, uh, and we're here to talk to you about Ted. We saw Ted on so, uh, uh, Ted two. Ted. Ted 2, my apologies. We saw Ted, Ted two, 2 on Sunday, and we're just here to uh, to talk about it, let you know what we liked, let you know what we didn't like, and if you should go and see it or not. Uh, first of all, what, do you, what, what did you like about it? Uh, hang on, give me stop. What, what is Ted 2 about? He wants to be a person again. <laughs> So basically, uh, so I guess I'll start off with what I liked about it, and I, what I really, really like about it is it, it, like most comedy sequels, don't have, have uh, they don't continue on with the same f f feeling from the first one sometimes, and this one really, you know, it was Ted, and it, oh, what it should be, it's Ted. I really like the chemistry between all three characters. Mm, mm, yeah. Between yeah. Mark, Ted, especially those two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Seth and, uh, what's his, Mark Wahlberg. They're yeah, right. yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. And Seth Mc, uh, Mc, uh, McFarland. Uh, I liked the addition of Amanda Seyfried um, a a as the lawyer who tries and helps, uh, 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 tr uh, tries to help Ted uh, get his rights back. I didn't really know much about her. Okay, well, so, uh, so basically the, uh, the, pl the plot of the movie is, what's Ted 2 all about, Nick? Ted 2 is all about basically Ted become, wanting to become a person again. The government has taken away the rights uh, in his marriage. So yeah, it, 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 it's their <laughs> it's their attempt to get Ted his civil rights back, uh, and it stars um, Mark uh, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, I'm Amanda Seyfried, obviously Seth MacFarlane, uh, a, a Morgan, a, a Morgan Freeman, uh, the chick from the first one who's Ted's wife, uh, and a whole lot of uh, cameo appearances. And that's actually one thing that I really, really enjoyed oh, over the cameos. And there were people from. From all over pop culture, I mean, you got Sam Jones of uh, uh, from the first one, Flash Gordon, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson which is an incredible camp. Stay Brady. through the credits, though. Stay through the credits for it's incredible. Tom Brady's in Tom it. Tom Brady's in it. Uh, that wasn't supposed to be in. I remember, yeah. like, Wait, they had it in the no, Super Bowl. It wasn't, wasn't in the movie, so of of of. Of, of, but it had such a good um, uh, um, uh, online response that they said, you know what, let's, let's, put, uh, let's put it in anyway. Uh, uh, so the, uh, the cameos were good, and that's, you know, something you, you come to expect from a Seth MacFarlane movie. And the pop culture references, too. Uh, well, what do you think about those? The... Hang on, what were the pop? Well, uh, they bring up... Uh, Are cause... we stopping, or...? I can stop. Okay. Oh, one thing about a Seth MacFarlane, I mean, he, he, uh, he, uh, even Family Guy, they do pop culture re uh, references really well. Like I said before, Flash Gordon is in there, and it's a big mm -hmm. part of that. Uh, and they reference, they reference, well, it's like a, a long f a Family Guy episode, essentially. They reference everything under the sun, rock, uh, it did feel like Family rocky. Guy episode. It, it did. Really long Family Guy episode. Yeah. So if you enjoy Family Guy, you'll enjoy this movie yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, the chemistry 
between all three of them. Were yeah, amazing. between all three, especially uh, the Ted, yeah, and, Ted and, and Mark Warburg. Warburg's character. They seem to borrow a lot of the last part of the movie from the first one, which were which really really kind of bugged me. If you're gonna do a sequel, don't relate too much from the first one. Yeah, I mean, keep the mythos from the first one and everything. Try to keep a sequel original. But yeah. Well, yeah, like uh, stuff from like tw- like Twenty One Jump Street and Twenty Two Jump Street, they they, it was, they, they were they essentially the same movies because they knew what they were doing, but they went in a different way. Yeah. Uh, and and to me, at least, the movie got a little too emotional when it shouldn't have. Like, I can go to see a movie like Ted for the laughs. Well, there were a lot of laughs. I haven't laughed that uh, that hard in a, in a movie theater in a long time. It was fine. Yeah, but there were a lot, and you have to give them um, emotional stuff to balance out with the comedy. <laughs> but towards the end, it felt like they were leaning too heavily on the emotion. And that kind of that felt briefly like pulled me out. It felt too long, do you? Yeah, it didn't okay. really need to be. No. Oh, okay. Well. Maybe like 15 minutes shorter, but... Mm. Uh, there's a great uh, Comic-Con scene since, uh, uh, since we, uh, we mentioned pop culture stuff earlier. Great Comic-Con scene. My favorite yes. part in, in the movie had so many pop... Uh, pop Love that one. Uh, culture references. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, in short, I really, really enjoyed the movie. It's not as good as the first one. Nowhere near no, as good as like the first one. No, I like the first one. one a lot better. I think the uh, the first one was a a stroke of genius, and it's pr- it's pretty hard to get that feeling back. Never the same. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five stars. What do you do? Three point five. Three point five. Out of five. It, it's a good movie to go see. Just don't expect it to be amazing. It was funny for yeah. what it was. Seth MacFarlane felt like Family Guy, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for, uh, for watching, guys. We'll see you at the next review. Yes. Hey, go see Ted. See you guys later.